everyone. What do you do to get ready for canoe paddling season? I actually come from a competitive rowing background where just about every single rowing club out there has rowing machines or what rowers like to refer to as ergometers. Fun fact for y'all, I'm actually a certified Canadian rowing coach and was heavily involved in the sport of rowing for many years. And for Ironman triathlon training, we naturally have the pool for swimming. We have the indoor trainer where you can spin for hours on end and ski hills for running. But what do you do for canoe paddling season? And I've long since known that a lot of competitive kayakers out there have highly specialized ergometers. And then I found canoeing versions of those. But again, super expensive pieces of gear. I'd also heard about people using rubber bands, but I wanted something that actually felt like paddling. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna build something with parts lying around the house for about 10 bucks. And I built it in our basement. It uh, took me about two hours to build and I completely eyeballed all the angles and it worked out great. So I'm gonna put all the angles up on the screen right now in case you wanna see what we used. Now I will say we mounted ours onto some existing shelves that were in the basement. So you might have to figure out some kind of frame to put it all around. Just for reference, Julie and I are both 5'6 and 120 pounds. And these particular measurements work really, really well for us. However, if you're a little bit taller or a lot taller, I might recommend putting that top pulley higher just because the distance the weight travels from the ground to that top pulley determines how long your paddling stroke could be on the other end. So again, if you're taller, I would recommend putting that pulley higher. So now, I know some of you are probably thinking this is silly. You don't need to do any of this. You can just go out and paddle and you'll be in shape before you know it. But if you care at all about survival skills off the grid, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure out there. So it just makes really good sense. <laughs> yeah. In any event, it's been working really well for us. So I thought I'd share it with you and the greater canoe paddling community. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this useful and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Good job, babes. Oh, oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo.